Before Europeans arrived in the New World, there were no black rats, brown rats, or house mice in Costa Rica. Especially in the age of colonization, these old world species stowed away on sailing ships to invade foreign lands and cause damage and destruction to civilization. After thousands of years of living together, these three rodent species are dependent on human activity. Unlike native species of rodents, they spread numerous diseases and cause unbelievable losses to agriculture. These are the rats that give all the native species a bad reputation. Compared to native rodents, they are aggressive, bad-tempered, dirty, and push and eat their way into our lives. The black rat, or roof rat, as seen here, is more common in agricultural areas, on farms, and in small towns. They even want to drink our wine, too. Yeah, he might be. Yeah, he's going to use me as leverage. Okay. <laughs> These old world rats and mice should be removed and eliminated. This is not their territory, and they displace native species. Notice the force of this black rat. The brown rat is so nasty that it even attacks people. The black rat, or roof rat, is a better climber. The brown rat, which is easily twice this size, infest the big cities of the world. It's a burrowing species. Despite all the shine and glitter of modern cities above ground, below ground is an underworld controlled by brown rats that live in drains and sewers. New York City is home to about two million brown rats. Damage from these rats is in the billions of dollars per year worldwide. Paris's rat population is closely monitored and is about 4 million individuals, about twice the number of its human population. It should be said in their favor that these species have been used as laboratory animals for centuries. We do owe them credit for major advancements in science, but they should stay in the laboratory.